We're going to quickly recap the goals for you before we call it a night here at the CMA. Amherst took a 1-0 lead in the first period of play. George Allen Monos, the senior for the Hurricanes, got them on the board at the 9.54 mark, and the team skated away from the first period with Amherst leading 1-0. In the second period, Aiden Roach got the green wave on the board with a power play goal. Nice setup from Kyle Barnes, tied the game at one. A little bit later on, Roach's second goal of the night. He picked up the puck at the blue line, came in, deked around Charlie May. Beautiful goal for the two to one lead. Two minutes after that, Shane Prusak gave the green wave a three one lead. Is that line, Prusak, Knight, and Niles just like they did last week against Chicopee. Niles to Knight, Prusak banged home the pass from Sammy Knight to finish that one off. Three to one at that point, Green Wave. Joe Frenier pulled the Hurricanes to within a goal at three to two with 428 remaining in the third period. Koji Ishida, beautiful, beautiful feed for Frenier. Frenier had the one-timer, knocked it right by Josh Bordeaux. Then the Green Wave got in a little penalty trouble with 2.50 to go. Aiden Roach got an interference call and a misconduct. But as Sam Knight just came out of the penalty box for serving the interference call, Puck was bouncing right around in front of the penalty box. He picked it up, skated into the Amherst zone, hit the empty net, and that was the final Goal of the night as the Green Wave skate away with a 4-2 lead. This is your friendly neighborhood skate doctor, Lou Mordeaux, bidding you a very pleasant good night from Greenfield.